Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch firmware 2.2 on a Mac. So first you're going to go into the description and download the Quick Pone. Wait for that. Once that done, start the download. Okay, make sure that's downloaded. Um, you're going to want to make sure your iPhone is plugged in and you're going to want to exit iTunes so that it doesn't bother us while we're trying to jailbreak. Alright, so just let this download. This is brand new software from QuickPone, so hopefully it works. Alright. Okay, so there we go. We're going to close out of this. Um, double click Quick Pwn. Open. Click OK. And it says please connect your device, and hopefully it's already connected. Alright, click OK. Now it's going to start the download um, if it opens iTunes again because it most likely will you're gonna wanna just click X alright so just wait for this alright so it's found it um, I'm not gonna replace the original boot and restore logos but you can if you want I'm gonna say no Okay, it's working right now. I'm gonna have to put this down while. Okay, hold on. I have to enter my administrator. So, one second. All right, enter that in. Now follow the directions. It says turn off. I'm turning off my device. Power off. Now hold the home and power button for five seconds. Keep holding it. Now prepare to release the power button. Now I released. So now I'm just holding the home button. It says hold the home button for 10 seconds. All right. Close out of iTunes. Don't send. Close out of iTunes. Now, Quick Pwn's gonna be doing the rest. Wait for this. This is what your iPhone or iPod Touch will look like right now. Right. I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna come back in when this is done downloading. Alright, so this is finishing up. Your iPhone or iPod Touch should still look like this. If it does, that's good. Alright. Quick Pwn is modifying your device. Um, so just click OK. I have success. Alright. Quick Pwn is about to run on your iPhone, it should say. So just wait. This is what your iPhone should look like. Let me just get a good picture of that. It's got the little Quick Pwn uh, logo. And it should say, flashing N-O-R. Sorry for this picture. Oh, and by the way, this is the in-case slider I have on the iPhone. I'll do a review on that later. So just wait for this. Now it's saying installing bundles.
This install. Should still say I had success. Right. It may take a little longer than this, but that's all right. Just make sure you don't hit the home button or turn off your iPhone while it's in the middle of downloading. Now it should say syncing file systems rebooting. Now when it reboots, you should have your jailbroken iPhone. It may take a while to reboot because it's the first time it's booting out the new with the new uh, jailbroken iPhone. So just let it fully reboot. should take this long. Just don't worry if it's taking this long. Just make sure you don't unplug it or anything. I'm gonna unpause this when the iPhone comes back. All right, so it just came up and now it's syncing. Let it sync with iTunes. Sorry about that sound. All right. And now, when you look at the home screen, you should have Cydia. Cydia is right there. And installer. And that's how you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch firmware 2.2 on a Mac. Thank you.